Nancy. Are you gonna call me Nancy or Frankie? I was gonna ask you, what do you prefer? Uh, it's totally up to you. Do both. Yeah. Okay. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> like Nancy Gomez. Nancy Gomez, alias Frankie Mark. Gotcha. Today on Dreamcatchers, we get up close and in depth with model and photographer Nancy Gomez. So I got it in my teeth. As usual, we have some laughs, yeah. oh. and I've always loved technology. Cameraman's so loving that right now. I've never liked Barbie. Like, yeah. As well as speak about the prejudice and pressure she faces as an immigrant and refugee. I mean, even just as a model being my skin color and my hair and they said no. We already have a Latin girl, one. As women, as Humans. a Latin woman, enough is enough. So mm. we actually have to take action now. Welcome back Dreamers to a brand new season, season two. We're here with Nancy Gomez. <laughs> well, she is a model photographer, and we are at another part of Griffith. We love Griffith Park, it's one of our favorites, uh -huh. but um, <laughs> we love the birds, the trees. We are here to be outside and to kind of share with you guys what's going on. Let's just start with the basics, which okay. is what you're known for, which is your career. Let's okay, uh, modeling I started to do when I was a teenager, and I started to go and try to find an agency in Texas, and it was actually kind of hard because um, my parents didn't speak English so I was trying to do it all on my own and mm. I'm literally like 15 years old you know so I went wow. to go try to find an agency and they and it's like one of the big agencies in Dallas and they said no we already have a Latin girl one so that was like <laughs> Got it. <laughs> you got your diversity. <laughs> right. Like, yeah. So oh. that was like the first thing that kind of like happened where I realized like, okay, this isn't going to be like the easiest thing. Wow. Journey, yeah. you know? Are you, you know, you're from El Salvador. Yes. Your story, being in Los Angeles as a refugee, um, yeah. being over here, like tell, yeah, share with you like your experience yeah. of that and your struggles and whatever you want to So I was share. born in El Salvador um, to my parents, Miriam Gomez and Jose Raul Gomez. Mm. Um, and oh. I have an older brother whose name is Raul too. Oh. <laughs> And um, it was during the war. There was like a civil war going on in El Salvador. So my parents were brave enough to make the journey with the two of us. And we came as refugees, as, you know, immigrants. Like, wow. And how old were you? Um, I was six. So, yeah, we did that whole journey of crossing the border and oh. all of that stuff. Was that, do you Difficult? remember it? Little bits. Um, like, I remember being really cold in the desert and they just kept putting, like, socks and pants on me. I remember wow. that I hated, like, the smell of loaf of bread because, like, that's all we were eating and then I hated it. Um, and then also my dad was walking with me as uh, giving me a piggyback ride and he was just so tired. So little stuff like that and then, like, just, like, being so happy that we made it. Where was that? Where you went to first? Um, we came to LA. Oh, you came straight here? This was your first place you came to? Yeah, oh, we came to LA. Wow. Your parents came over because they wanted to just create a better life for you guys. I you... was hiding under the bed at my grandma's house while bombs were going off outside. Wow. wow. So they need, it was we a needed to get out. Yeah. And there was just like dead bodies as you walked around. Do you feel like you have had to work harder? Because I, I hear this often where people that aren't from the US say that they do have to work harder. And then I hear other people like, oh, everybody everybody gets equal opportunity. But yeah. I, I don't think that's fair because we haven't had the same experiences. Mm -hmm. So you do wouldn't you, know. We wouldn't know. And it's just <laughs> not the uh, truth. I <laughs> wish it was the truth. Open your mind, people. So <laughs> have you had, do you feel like you've had to work harder? Yeah, definitely. I mean, even just as a model, being my skin color and my hair and having brown eyes, like you don't see that on the cover of magazines or on billboards is mm -hmm. a very specific mm -hmm. thing. Yeah. You know, it's not all of us. Wow. Like, we all look different. And it's important to represent that because, yeah. like, I didn't have that growing up. Yeah. And then I had one of my other friends say, like, one thing at a time. Like, it's women. Like, you should be happy that it's why women. Why not all of it and at I'm a time? Like, no, We're, that's no. why, like, time is up. That's why I'm yes. so, so, like, all passionate time. Yeah. about that. Because, like, <laughs> no, fuck no. Like, great that it's women, but it should include all of us now, today. So you even right. had an incident when you we were know. doing your shoot. Tell us a bit about that when you were yes. you had your refugee t-shirt. Women's on. March. So I went to the first women's march and I was super excited to go to the second one. I woke up and I was like, I need something that also represents refugees because Trump 
uh, was trying to deport 270,000 Salvadorians, specifically Salvadorian, and many more people from other countries. And the thing is, like, sometimes we think about uh, um, things like super far away from us, like people. Or we have a, such a vision yeah. or a stereotype yeah. of what stereotype. a refugee. Is. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. What a refugee dress is like. And anyways, and people look at my social media all the time, and I'm sure they don't know that I I am a refugee. Yeah. So I wore my shirt. My friend um, wrote refugee, and I was really proud and I wore it and people took photos of it and a lot of people reposted it and I started to read the comments and um there was like a woman a couple of women on there saying like they look like they're at a photo shoot like how dare them like posing wearing a refugee shirt and I was like hmm okay let me just take the time to let her know that I, I am a refugee so I told her, I was like, listen, I am a refugee and this is why I wore the shirt. Mm. And it was a women's march and like, you know, we were marching for your rights too. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, anyways, and she came back and she said like, yeah, but like, that is not what Eastern European refugees look like. And how dare you like make fun of something that's like so serious and so important. And I volunteered and I saw the little shoes of like a drowning child and it's like, that was actually my life. Like, I was actually that baby, really that yeah. that little kid that almost died. She didn't have died. information about how does she yeah, know? Right. That's such an assumption, you know. That's what I have a problem yeah. with is the assumption. the assumption. It really did hurt my feelings because it was like kind of my first time to like be like, okay, I'm like yeah. putting going myself out there. I'm putting and myself and it's out there. To express yourself. It really hurt my feelings because I was like, I can imagine. Oh yeah. my god, like this it's is hurtful. so personal to me, and you're telling me that like because of how I look, I don't have a right. It blew yeah. my fucking mind. I yeah, was like, yeah. people are weird. So I, I'm also very not well versed when it comes to politics. Yeah. And I, because I'm uneducated, I try not to share my opinions. But I struggle getting involved because I'm like, we're so foolish. We're yeah. Just so fo we're I so get that there has foolish. to be some organization, otherwise it would run havoc and riot. Yeah. Right. Yeah, but not the organization that's there. And that's why I've always been so useless yeah. when it comes to politics. And I don't even speak about it because right. I feel so so uneducated Me too. Yeah. and embarrassed that I don't know anything. Exactly. I'm more of a spiritual I struggle. Yeah, same. The spiritual way. You yeah, know, like same. let's connect and that them. is my whole life. Like my mom has been praying to the moon since I could remember. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And yes. like love. Like I didn't, we didn't grow, I didn't grow up with money, but I grew up with a lot, a lot, a lot of love. love. But now mm -hmm. it's just like, oh, we got to fix this shit. Yeah, Cause right. like no one else is going to do it. Like do it has to be us. Yeah, I feel an obligation to. As women, as humans. a Latin woman, yeah. as yeah. humans, like enough is enough. So mm. we actually have to take action now. Absolutely. You know what I mean? <laughs> What's yeah. your style with photography? Like, if somebody was like, oh, like, what um, would you say you're defining I guess it's, edges? like, kind of, like, I do try to just keep things, like, genuine. Mm. Yeah. You know just what real, I mean? Just real, right? Just real. Like, Not overtly, yeah. like, just yeah, organic. Yeah, it's yeah, like... Yeah. And I've noticed you, your models don't use a lot of makeup either. You're not, they, like, no. crazy. And I mean, it's very... Yeah. It is very beautiful and natural, Thank like, you. that organic look. Yeah, like, I'm definitely not like, oh, that's too sexy, because I like the sexy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to say, I know you like that. I like the sexy stuff. Yeah, I'm a Scorpio. Sexy. I like the sexy stuff. But I like mm -hmm. to celebrate people for who they are. Yeah. yeah. You know, another thing that I don't do is Photoshop a lot, because, like, that's just, like, awful whenever, like, you literally have zero pores. Like, right. it looks mm. like a painting. Yeah. And, and I don't support that just because it's, like, unrealistic. And, like, well, it's also sending the wrong messages to the, the person and the universe by saying, yeah. this is great, but you look better with this. Right. Yeah. This and adjusted. also, like, what I think about it is, like, my two little nieces. And, yeah. like, I don't want them to have the wrong idea of what being beautiful is. Right. I thought that I was... I never thought I was going to be behind the camera. I thought that you now. in front of me. Yeah. Wow. And now, is that you or do you prefer on, that over? Oh, 100,000%. Really? I love being behind the camera. I actually broke my thumb, which oh. is how I started photography. And I was always looking up photo blogs. And I've always loved technology. Like, I hate it. Barbies. Cameraman's like, loving that right now. I never liked <laughs> Barbies. Like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I was never a Barbie girl. You I wouldn't know have thought I, I loved that. either. Yeah. Mm. So well, I Looks was just can be like, deceiving, yeah. people. <laughs> so I was like, let me get this camera, and I'm actually going to start leaving the house. Mm. And, like, let's just... I'm going to start a blog so I can place my photo somewhere, but, like, let's just see where it goes. And, like, 
their faces when they were like, wait, hold on, I look yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah. And they're and like, you're okay, like, okay. That. hold on. They're like, keep taking my photo then. And like, that is awesome. Nice. Yeah. I love That's that. Like I love this. I feel so great because <laughs> it shows that you're, for me, um, even even I give myself a hard time because I love being on camera. Yeah. You know, there's obviously some that in me somewhere. There's some ego in that, or right. some something in that. I mean, yes, there's a lot of other elements to it, but I love it when someone's purely selfless, where they're just all about making the other person shine. I just think that's really beautiful. Okay, I want to ask you okay. for anyone out there, what is your biggest struggle every day or every week that you go through? I feel like I need to be doing more. Mm. Like. Uh. I think it, it uh, might also be kind of like a, like I wish that I was taking care of my mom already. You know what I yeah. mean? Like give her a oh. house, give her that. And it's almost like, um, I don't know. A lot of pressure on yourself. It's like pressure just because like they brought me to this whole country to give me this whole life. Ooh. And I'm like, Ugh. Yeah. Oh. So and you're a family girl. Yeah. One of us, <laughs> we love that. And like any like immigrant refugee, they have this thing of like taking care of their family, you know? And sometimes I have to be like, no, I need to just take care of me. Like they're yeah. happy by just seeing me be happy. Yes. But that is like the one thing that scares me is like not getting there. I feel but that. But I will one. try. <laughs> no, I, like it. I feel that. Yeah. And I think, I think just to add to that, it's the time, I don't know about for you, but it's the time frame of wanting to do it before they get too old or anything happens. Right. For me, I feel you every day. My biggest fear is losing my dad <laughs> or my family yeah. before yeah. I've got to show them how much, treat them back for everything. Get me started as well. No. <laughs> don't even cut Everything the they've given me, like I want to do that all for yeah. them and treat them and yeah. look after them and show them and, and, and care about them. You. Yeah. And thank them before it's too late. And yeah. that is my biggest every day. Same I'm like, thing, yeah. hurry, hurry, hurry. And I have hurry. to remind myself yeah. that is enough. Exactly what you said. Yeah. Like yeah. my dad is just happy seeing me happy. Yeah. Yeah. And you are enough without having to provide yeah. for your family. And they love you and are proud of you. So you never know what people are going through. So just so be don't nice. judge. <laughs> exactly. Oh, you know. you're so cute. You've got such a I know. So, <laughs> such a beautiful person. All right, Nancy. So okay, for right, our viewers, Jess's favorite part, <laughs> my tips. We, we, we got to give the viewers something to munch yes. at. Uh huh. You are beautiful on the inside and out, but you're also in the beauty industry, both in front of the camera mm -hmm. and behind. So why don't you tell us, or tell our audience, mm -hmm. um, three things you do to make yourself feel beautiful, mm -hmm. and maybe one thing you do to look beautiful before your shoot. The things to make you, that you, that make you feel beautiful. Sleep. Amen. Sleep. <laughs> you yes. got to sleep. People really take that for granted, yeah. and you need to watch some TED Talks, because your brain <laughs> actually feels threatened whenever you don't get enough sleep. You're listening to all the negative words. It's a no bueno. And also, you're aging. Not cute. Mm -hmm. So I love to Not sleep. Cute. I'm Good. a sleeper. Like, it's a priority for me. And then uh, moisturize. 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 Oh, I never moisturize. Oh, I really yeah. should. You out of the shower? Caucasians don't usually don't moisturize because they don't that's get ashy. That's why we look like a leather bag at the fifty because we're like. <laughs> so maybe that's where I'm going wrong. Moisturize. You need to oh, moisturize and you need to wear sunblock. Doesn't matter if there's no sun outside. And then two more things um, that make you feel beautiful. Like inside. Yes. Um. Mm -hmm. So I love to listen to. Um, Abraham, Abraham Hicks. Hicks. I knew you were going to say that. Charlie, yes. that yes. is her messiah. Yes, yes. With yes. Abraham Hicks. I've been Love. to see her. I have been to her shows. Yeah. I listen to her every night. Yeah. Anyone that hasn't seen Abraham Hicks, go. You would seriously get minutes. on YouTube. It, if you're having yes. a bad day yes. or a negative mindset or you're losing trust with yourself yes. or the universe, um, get on that shit. It is so <laughs> yes. good. It will transform your life. Um, washing my hair like I <laughs> no, I'm uh, fresh fresh hair wash is always good but what I was gonna say is uh, just work out a little bit I'm not a big workout person I actually don't like the gym I hate but, the gym um, I actually hate yeah, it I love dance oh, I love, yeah, I love yeah. dance classes yeah. or like fun right. I love fun oh, classes yeah. I love yeah. dancing or do yeah. anything like that but gym uh uh yeah. just do what makes <laughs> you feel good honor right. your heart that's what matters absolutely that's yes I love that that's it you guys yes. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Oh, it's so lovely. Oh, got some good juicy information I know. there with some tips and some everything. That's right. <laughs> All right, dreamers, that is it. This episode with Nancy Gomez is a wrap. Be sure to check out her social media. Where can they find you, Nancy? At Fancy Gomez. And keep dreaming. Yes.
right. keep dreaming. Yay! See? One of us. <laughs> Until next time, dreamers. We'll see you. Bye, guys. We love you.